Today we're going to do something really fun. I got this beautiful pork roast from Bayside Foods. Now, you can see that's a nice size roast. That's a little big for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that in three nice strips and then we're going to marinate it in three different sauces. We're going to use a mustard sauce, a barbecue sauce, and then just a little Worcestershire. We'll marinate those, oh, I don't know, several hours. I mean, you can put them in the marinade in the bag, put them in the refrigerator overnight, but we'll probably do it for about four hours, and then we're going to slow roast them in the oven. So now, just very simply, I'm going to cut this in approximately thirds. Oh, that cuts nice and so tender. There we have it. Now I'm going to fix our bags up next. All right, so it's just as simple as putting your roast in each bag. Clean my hands up here a little bit first before we get started. And just as a food sanitation note, make sure that you wash everything off especially with uh, pork and uh, poultry with a disinfectant. I have a disinfectant on this uh, cloth here. Now we add our Worcestershire. You don't need a lot because it's in the bag, unlike putting it in a bowl. Just get enough to coat it with and then wrap it nice and tight. We'll set that aside. Our barbecue sauce, the same way. Just going to pour a little in here. Rub it around in the bag. Make sure everything is nice and coated. Yep. Our mustard. Oh yeah, rub it up nice. All right, in about four hours, we're going to come back. And I'm going to roast it at about 300 degrees. Could roast it a little higher, but I like to do a slow roast. It gives it a little more flavor and it keeps it nice and tender. All right, I think we've let this sit long enough. Look what happened though, my glass. I'm gonna have to get some of those Camco unbreakable glasses. That's a shame. So now I've got this one to use. That'll work all right. Now, now let's get the oven. I'm gonna turn the oven on. heat that to about 350 and what I want to do first is I want to kind of brown the meat before I put it in the oven I've got this pan here we're going to put a little bit of water in the bottom of it in the meantime let's get this pan hot all right that's getting nice and hot with your olive oil we'll get our first pork roast out And now in between each of these, I'm going to clean the pan. You see, all I want to do is just kind of sear the outside of each of these. I don't think we need to go through each one. They're all going to be... You know what, as usual, I always change my mind halfway through something. I'm not going to clean the pan out between each one of these. I'm doing the mustard, the barbecue, and then I'll do the Worcestershire. And the reason I've changed my mind I'll show you here now. Look at this. Look at how nice and bright. That is going to be a lot of good flavor. So we'll put some water in this later. And I think I was going to do noodles tonight, but I think I'm going to do rice. And I'm going to cook the rice in this beverage. Oh, is that going to be tasty? Just hear that? 
Oh yeah, that's going to be very tasty. Nice and brown. All right, so now I added a couple cups of water to this. I'm going to bring this back to a boil, and all that bottom is going to just permeate this and be very, very flavorful. Okay, now you see how that is? Oh, that's going to be very good. Now I might add a beef cube to that too. But the bottom of this pan is clean now, and we have all this wonderful flavor. You can just see the flavor in this. All right, let's give it a check, guys. What we want to see is about 130 on the thermometer. That's all we need. I don't want to go too much more than that because it'll continue to cook once I pull it out. We are there in an hour and a half. Let's pull her out. So now look at this. Oh, it hit 140, okay. We have a Trinidad of flavors here. We've got spicy mustard, we've got barbecue, and we've got uh, Worcestershire. We've got a meal here for two, four, six days. Fantastic. And I'm going to save the broth that's down in here to use with the rice. And you know, the thing is, this uh, stove, uh, Seaward by Whale, it is so efficient. I just checked the propane. You know how much I've been cooking. I've used virtually nothing. And even roasting this, it's been fantastic. Well, bon appetit!